Hello everyone and welcome back to the Amped YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through the latest Amped 5 update video. As always with our updates here at Amped, this update is feature packed. But in this video I'm just going to be focusing on some of the highlights of the update. If you want a full list of what's available in this update, make sure to check out the blog post for this update. So for this update video then, the main areas I'm going to focus on are the introduction to the validation tool. We've added support for uncompressed RGB codec to go into an MKV container. And we've done some updates to the audio reduction, which will make fine tuning your reductions a little bit easier. So first I want to talk about the validation tool. Now the validation tool is going to enable users to ensure that there's no differences between new versions of 5 to previous versions of 5. This is really going to help our users who are currently accredited and give confidence to our users that as we update the software, nothing is changing internally with the filters. So you can find the new validation tool under utilities tab. And when you select it, it's gonna bring up this box. Now there's different steps that you'll take to validate software. You can generate or generate and compare. What you'll need to do is establish a data set of projects that you'll be able to generate results from. I'm just gonna do that quickly for you. So I'm just gonna generate, I'm gonna to go to my data set here. And I'm just going to save this into my data set results. I'm just going to click OK and it's going to create my uh, results list from the data set of projects that I've got in that folder. And what will happen is when I then update the software, what I can do is then generate and compare a new validation tool results from the new piece of software and I would compare it to the old list that I've created here. You can see that the validation tool is going into the different projects and different chains and taking MD5 hash values from different pixels within those projects. So if then when I update the software, there's a change in the filters that affect the pixels of that filter, then it will show that they're not going to match now. And that will indicate that there's been a change in the filters. But more importantly, the purpose of this is to show that there's been no changes in the filters. And this is really going to help you if you are accredited so that you don't need to go through validating the filters every time you update the software. Okay, the next thing I want to mention is that we've implemented the ability to put the uncompressed RGB codec into a MKV container. So here, if I go to write video writer, You'll see now if I choose the MKV container, we can now choose the uncompressed RGB video codec. Okay, so let's take a look at the updates that we've made to audio reduction. So we've actually made two improvements to audio reduction, which I think the users are really gonna like. So if I demonstrate these using this sample, so I'm gonna go to audio reduction and I'm just going to redact a random interval here. The first thing you'll notice is when I begin to redact an interval now, you'll be able to see the times of this redaction. So you can see it's got it at 17.667 and it will show me how far ahead I'm going with this redaction in time. So this is great for people that have been asked to redact parts of a video and they've been given timings to do so. The second update we've made to this 
is that you can now go to show input and it will show you the audio that was previously redacted. And this will assist you in fine tuning that redaction. So I can zoom into this. I can see the audio roughly where I want to redact it. And if I want to fine tune this now, I can just click and grab, make my new redaction. And once I let go, it will reapply that redaction for us. So both of these tools are just going to improve our audio redaction for our users quite a lot quite excited to share them with you and hopefully you'll like them too. I just wanted to take some time at the end of the video to point out some GUI updates that you may or may not have noticed. Uh, so very firstly, I just want to show you that we've now increased the sizes of these icons in the toolbar at the top. Secondly, if you go to the convert DVR, you'll see that you've now got a option to go straight to advanced file info from here. We've also added the ability to copy the MD5 hashes. So if you go to the inspector tool, and you can see the MD5 hash down here. You can now right click and copy these hash codes if you need them. Okay, so we've reached the end of the update video. As I said, this is just a small insight to the update there's a lot more going into this update so definitely make sure you check out the blog post to find out the full details hope you enjoyed the video and until next time take care everyone if you enjoy this content make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and don't forget to get access to our discord channel if you are one of our users